Yo guys, this is Alias and in this video I'll show you how to make a really cool looking lightning text effect in After Effects. Before this video starts, I'll just show you the result real quick. Let's go! Okay, so let's go. So the first thing that we're going to create is a new composition. I'll just make it 10 seconds and full HD, as always. Okay, so let's start by creating new solids, two black ones. After that, make your text. I'll just type in test for this example and I'll use the font Spantera, which is really nice. Then scale it up a bit, press shift and align it so it's in the center. Okay, so now drag the uh, second solid above the text and search Saber in the Effect tab. Then go to Customize Core and select Text Layer and our text. So now we have to look for a good looking preset and I'll just use Electric, you can find it here. And okay, so let's just animate it a little bit. And we're going to do that by, first of all, changing the start size to 33% and the end offset to 0 at the beginning. Then go to 1 second and pull it up to 100. So this gives us these little fade in. And we can also do this at the end, so make another keyframe at the end. I'll just press uh, type in 100 again and then go to the end and make it zero again so this gives us oh wait this didn't work so open it again go to saber and we'll just put in the keyframes manually so zero 100 then go to nine seconds put in 100 again this should work okay so now we got this effect but it looks a little bit boring in the middle. That's why we are going to animate the mask evolution. So just make a keyframe at the beginning and another one at the end. Just type in one maybe, that should work. This gives us like, okay, this effect, which is hard to see because the pre-render takes so long, but it will look really good. I can promise you that. Okay, so now let's start by adding some lightning bolts. To do that we're going to create a new solid and search lightning in this in this tab and select the advanced lightning effect. Okay this gives us some nice effect, just play with the points a bit. I'll make it straight first and change the lightning type from direction to strike. Okay this looks a little bit boring. Just go to Expert Settings and turn up the chord rain. And wait, why does it look so weird? Okay, um, and we can play with this as well, maybe. Oh no, just leave these two settings, just change the chord rain to 100. And then go to the Glow Settings, select this tool and just find a similar color to our text like this. Okay, so now go to the beginning and change the opacity to zero. Then go a few frames, frames forward and make it 100. Then go here, just make it, I'll just make it 99% and then zero again. So we get this lightning effect, which looks absolutely uh, ugly but we can go to the beginning and animate the lightning a bit so it doesn't look that boring so just make a keyframe at conductivity state and go up a bit and just make it like five more so i'll just put in 10 and this will look like this okay doesn't look too bad so now we're going to um duplicate this layer a few times maybe i'll rename it before so it doesn't get confused like this and just 
Okay, no, wait, where is it? What did I do? Why did I rename? Okay, that was stupid. Oh, okay, now it's lightning again. Um, so just duplicate it a few times, like five times maybe, and now just um, press R to rotate them and just move them a bit around your animation. Uh, I mean around your text, just like this. R to rotate. Um, like this maybe. this in the middle and the last one just like this okay so now to make it a little bit more interesting um, change the sizes of all a little bit not too much just press s to select the scale thing and turn some up turn some down so it looks a little bit more random this okay that's a little bit too small like this okay now you can also move these um, these lightning bolts so it looks even more random just like this maybe and you get this effect which will take some time to pre-render again but okay let's look at it looks like this which is really cool in my opinion. So if you want to have these lightning bolts um, within this time frame, you can also duplicate them again and just move them to the right. So it just appears randomly within the animation. And yeah, that's it basically. Maybe we can do this here and this one. Control D to duplicate by the way, forgot that. And yeah, this gives us this cool effect. Of course, you can add as much lightning bolts as you like. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Stop it. Get some help.